the idea of a tier is that there are different places, there are different layers, there are different levels where things happen to the information. And so we usually talk about those tiers as going from close to you, the tier that's closest to you, the user, the consumer of information, all the way to the tier that's closest to the data, closest to the actual storage of the information. Okay, so let's look at those three parts now, but let's look at them with this different idea of the tiers, with what the tiers are and what they're responsible for. So we have the same diagram, the internet, the, the server, and the browser, but now we're gonna call them by tiers. And we're going to, by the way, ignore the internet as a tier. We're just really gonna think of the internet, well, that's just like the antenna that broadcasts a signal. There's no real need for us to call that out and give it a label. So from now on, we're gonna sort of ignore the internet, which is kind of what you want from, in, from a network. You want that network to always be there, you want it to be useful, but when you're creating applications, you don't have to worry so much about the network. And that's what we do when we talk about tiers. So the first tier is the one that's in your browser. We call that the presentation tier, and it makes a lot of sense. The browser is there to present the information. So tier number one is the presentation tier. Tier number two on the server we're going to generalize right now and just call it the processing tier. All the stuff that needs to happen to turn the data that you store somewhere into a great web page. That all happens on the server. And then behind the present, sorry, behind the processing tier is the data tier. So this is a new thing we haven't talked about before. So far we've talked about the server as just being one big thing. You'll see as we, the further we go, the more we decompose that server into more and more and more things because the server is a very complicated beast. It's a big machine that has lots of different parts. So far, we've just called it the server. Now we're gonna break it down into two parts. The processing part that does all the work, that does all the massaging, that does all the manipulation of the information, and then the data tier, tier number three, the data tier that stores the information. So in general, what happens is this processing tier reaches into the data tier, pulls out the information that's necessary to make a web page, does all the manipulations, turns it into HTML. Remember, HTML is the language of web pages, and then sends it to the browser. The browser, just like a television set, really doesn't know much to do except how to display what's sent to it from the, from the server. Now, we can complicate that story quite a bit, and we're not going to spend much time complicating it on the presentation layer, but we will complicate it on the server. So before we do that, pause for a moment and get this concept, the concept of a tier. A tier is one place where information processing happens. We so far have three tiers, but we're gonna see that there can be as many tiers as you want. The first tier that we've talked about is the presentation tier. That is the display of the information, and that's your browser or your phone, or could be a book, could be a printed book. That's also the uh, presentation tier. Then we have the processing tier that's on the server, that's on the web server, that does all the manipulations of information, and the data tier that stores the information. Okay, so all web systems are at least gonna have that much of, a, of an architecture to them. And by the way, the word architecture is simply just a way of saying the way it's put together, how all the parts are put together, the schematic, the design of the system.